Uh, a lot of folks don't realize the role that Colleen played in, in uh, running Gordy's business affairs and, you know, starting the first ever junior A hockey team south of the border, uh, opening Gordy ha Hockey Land. Uh, she wrote three books, did tons of charity work along the way. Uh, tell us what you remember about your grandma. Um, I love that you brought that up and that's, I'm, I'm enjoying the photos that are on the screen there, but uh, it's funny because actually uh, recently she was inducted into the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame. And so that was a really special evening for, for our family. Um, you know, I, I have I have three young daughters at home. My oldest is 10, but, um, you know, none of them had, had ever met my grandmother. And of course, they know everything or have heard everything about, uh, you know, their great grandfather, Gordy and, and, and everybody else. But, uh, you know, you know, not as much as spoken about my grandmother. And so I, I think at that you know, that evening, um, they got to, it was special for me because my, my daughters got to learn a little bit more about uh, my grandmother and what an amazing woman she was and everything she did for, um, you know, not, not only people in hockey, but Marcia Dimes and, you know, and, and countless uh, contributions to, to charities and things like that. So. Yeah, she was amazing. And, and anybody who knew her knew, knew that she was amazing. It really was kind of the brains of the organization all the way through it. <laughs> and tough. You know, and tough. Get tough. Yeah, Gordy, exactly. Gordy, right. Gordy was the tough guy on the ice, but she was a tough one off it. So, 